quite a good story, actually. I think that how he's grown up, and then from you know from Paul's Grove and made it to the top of the world. I met Mark riding his bike. You know, first time I saw Mark, he was on his bike at Southsea Skate Park. He did a front flip about eight foot out and ejected like mid front flip and the bike came round and hit him on his head and then he landed on his back on the bottom of the ramp and as soon as he didn't get up I knew it was bad. Yeah I messed up a trick that I can always do and uh, then broke my back so yeah, it's been a crap year. Stayed in hospital for about a week. And then after about the, about the third week, that's when he started to get up. Mark, how many weeks you got left off your bike? Seven. Another seven weeks. Hey, you doing? I'm working. Hey, you doing? Despite breaking my back, you know, things have uh, still got to go to plan. So I've got to head to Germany. And then after that, we're off to China for the Chinese X Games. It's not the, the biggest mainstream event out there, but it is the biggest event in China. I've never really had a stepdad around or anything like that, do you know what I mean? Like, like, once my dad was gone, I was man of the house. Worried about my sisters getting boyfriends, I was worried about like, my mum getting a boyfriend and everything like that. That's one of the reasons why I did actually move out in the end and, you know, finally try and find things on my own two feet. <laughs> the other day I was talking to someone else, like, oh, I really feel sorry for him. Like, his mum and dad's just broke up. I was like, story of my life, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you can't go feeling sorry for people like that, you've got to get on with it, you know? Being dyslexic, not being able to read and write properly, I had a real hard time, you know, so I, I just I was just like, I ain't having this. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just turned, you know, switched into my own person and just decided that I'm not going to school, so, and, uh, and I didn't. Travelling the world with my bike and everything like that, like, all these years later, like, I've learned so much more than what I ever would learn in school, because in school, it's just on paper what you're learning about. I went and actually see these places that people talk about in school. Ah, oh, cool. What is it? A mark. Uh, you can have it. <laughs> I never watch his telly. I have to sit down and watch telly on my own. He like watches his telly for about five minutes and he gets bored of sitting still and he has to do something. <laughs> He was sitting on the bench in the garden and uh, he put his paw through the slat of the bench and then fell off the bench. So now he's got two metal plates. Same arm, same same place, same scar I think. Except, except he healed like about 50 times faster. I think it's alright. I think, I think I'm alright. Yeah. I think I'm alright to ride so we'll just uh, see what happens. You know, Go out there and have a whirl. These people are, tend to be rather driven by their sport rather than their injuries, and uh, adrenaline takes over. Time will tell, really, whether he can perform to the best of his abilities. The idea is, is one leg, two leg. See, look, look, look. So you go one leg, yeah, and then switch your legs, two leg. I will push the bar out a bit if I have to, but it won't be in any way that it's going to injure any way that's going to cause me to land on my, on my um, bum. I've yeah, got my boxer shorts strapped out here, but now I'm just here, a little bit weird. I pretty much got out of bed like a couple of times the first week that like, I broke my back, like, and everyone's like, you can't do that, and I was like, I need to. Three months down the line, I'm back on my bike rolling around, you know? So, and uh, obviously you're meant to wait six months for a broken back, so I don't know, I couldn't stay off it. When well, I fell onto my back then, I went, like, clank, 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 all the way down the old vertebrae. If he is doing too much too early, there is the risk that his back will break down, that he won't be able to even get on his bike at some point. Medically, he should have been resting his back, he should have been doing exercises and having rehabilitation over a sort of programmed period of time. Uh, but clearly he went against that advice and uh, he will possibly suffer the consequences. 
He's Mark. He doesn't do as he's told. <laughs> he's always been the same since I've known him, so it's not really a big shock. Like, I tell him to take it easy all the time. I think he's just, like, doing what he knows he can do. Well, I say that. <laughs> I'm not done a bargain with him every day, and I know what he's like, so he's probably kind of a bit over the top. Jesus! Do you believe that? Oh, you see how that snapped? Can you believe that? How bad would that have been, honestly? If I didn't know that was going. You see that snap? How bad that went? Thank God this isn't the company I ride for. <laughs> Thinking of new ways of having fun now. Sometimes there's no telling him. He doesn't hear it. Even if it's, you know, his girlfriend or anybody, any of his closest friends. He's got a mission and the mission is him on his bike. I literally take each day as it comes to everything. I don't ever plan. That's why I hate the whole um, going away on a certain date thing and everything like that. Like, I can't sleep the night before because I think I've got to be up tomorrow. I've got to be up tomorrow. We've got to do a Suzuki commercial and hopefully I don't get hurt, but if I do, Carl's coming as a backup rider, Mr. Carl Blake. Sorry, can't come in. Here. Sorry. Just to be awesome. Okay, stand by. It's not the, my most favourite outfit I've ever worn. Eagle. Probably because I've got an eagle on the front of it and it looks like a six year old kid's t shirt. I'm sort of just about keeping it together, but I'm getting a bit delirious in there, so. Stand by, please. Five. And ready? Go. Oh, that's a little bit of a back. Really amazing to see someone who really knows how to do something special. Usually, you just work with models that just pose, and some actors who just act, but mostly they act quite weird. And he really knows how to do it. <laughs> amazing to see what he does and how there's no. Um, he seems not to be afraid. It's quite easy, really. Just come in, do the job. X Games is always a fun one, isn't it, you know? I mean, you never know who's going to turn up. Especially at the Asian X Games. I definitely don't think people are going to expect us to turn up. Good morning. So we have to enter the Audi Pellet for a few minutes. Nevertheless, we estimate our arrival to be on time. I'd always stay with Mark now, forever, you know. But I plan on spending the rest of my life with him, so that's really the good times and the bad, you know, so, and I know that's, like, the risks that come with people riding, so if I didn't think that, then I wouldn't be with him. Yeah, okay, Knuckled down, got used to the course, then I had a day off, chilled in the sun, and then, you know, obviously, because I can't go over the top at the moment, because I've got a bit of a broken back still. And then, when it came to it, crunch time, get in there, get the job done, first place. Cheers. <laughs>